For our fourth navigation pattern, let's explore modals. A modal is a screen that overlays the app content to provide important information or prompt the user for a decision. You can create models in your app in one of two ways. First is using the modal component from React Native. Second is using Explorator's file-based syntax. I've already created a video on how to use the modal component in my React Native playlist. If you're interested in learning more about it, make sure to check it out. For this course, we will focus on Explorator's file-based syntax. To get us started, I've created a new project called modal app. Run the command npx create expo app at latest, followed by the project name, which is modal app. Then inside the project folder, run the command npm run reset hyphen project to start with a bare bones expo project. You should have just index and layout in your app folder. Now in the app directory, we will create a new file called modal.tsx. Define a simple React Native component using the snippet rnfs. We'll call the component modal and change the component name to modal as well as the text. We'll define container styles and apply it to the view component. So style is equal to styles.container. Right now, this modal page is treated as any other page in our stack. To present it as a modal, we need to specify a screen option. Let's make that change. In the root layout component, replace the self-closing tag with opening and closing tags and specify stack.screen components. First, the index screen. So name is equal to index with title, so options, title set to home. Then the modal screen, so name is equal to modal with options, title set to modal, and we will also set the presentation style to modal. The option is called presentation, and we set modal. Finally, in the home page, so index.tsx, add a link that navigates to the modal page. So import link from export router, invoke the link component, text is open modal, for example, and then href slash modal. I will also add some gap between the text and the link. If you run the app with the command npx expo start and head to the device and click on open modal link, you will see the modal appear from the bottom. Swipe down and you're back to the home page. It really is this straightforward to add a modal navigation pattern with Explorator's file based routing. Now you might be wondering. Why would we want to use the file-based syntax to create a modal? If you take a look at the browser and click on open modal link, you can see the URL update to slash modal. Not only is this great for SEO, but it also allows us to share a link exactly to the modal screen. Now on the web, a modal will appear as a new page. To achieve the behavior of a web modal, we can use transparent modal as the presentation style and rely on the library React Native Reanimated to animate the modal in and out of view. Let me show you how. Back in VS Code, in the app folder, create a new file called webmodal.tsx. Since the component code is not specific to Explorer, I'll go ahead and paste the code here. We use animated view from React Native Reanimated fade in and slide in down transitions. We also have a link to dismiss the modal when pressing outside and another link to go back to the home page. As modal content, we simply display the text modal screen. Now in the root layout file, add another stack.screen component for the web modal. So copy, paste it, the name is web modal and for options, we will specify the title as web modal. Presentation is going to be transparent modal, animation fade, and header shown false. A few extra options in this case. Finally, in the index screen, add another link that navigates to the web modal. Now, in the web browser, click the open web modal button. 
and you should see the modal work as expected. We have the modal content and if we click outside, the modal disappears and we can also click on go back to our home page. The web modal component code is present on my GitHub repo, so please make sure to check that out for the complete component code. Now, I will say that for most use cases, you can use the modal component from React Native and customize it according to your app's user interface requirements. But if you have complex interactions where you need the modal to be a route in the navigation system, then the file-based syntax is a great solution.